What's, What's up, up, guys? guys? Uh, so today we're back with another podcast style video. We got some new mics. We got yeah, mics was hidden for my yeah. Hair. Got got some got some new mics. So I'm looking forward to it. I was excited to try them out in this podcast setting until we, we get our podcast equipment, fix our our room up, start getting our set together. Kind of have an idea for like the um, the podcast name. I think it's the one that we're more sold on. Uh, in the last one, we don't I have an said, idea. We, well, have, we have a, a name. name. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to be humble about it. No, Tony. we got a name, y'all. We got a name for our podcast. In the last little podcast episode, we said it was going to be uh, basic, but B A E S I C. He said, not we. Well, we didn't say he it was going to be that. I was saying that was a name that I liked, and a lot of people agree with me. I don't care. I didn't like it. <laughs> Her mom didn't like it. She didn't like it. They said it sounded basic. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> So one day, Hi, so one day I was just thinking, and obviously, when it comes to our podcast, we want to talk about like the highs and lows of like relationships, you know, struggles, and also like the the dark the dark times, and also the the beauty behind relationships. Because at the end of the day, relationships are a beautiful thing. That and they got happen. highs and they got lows. Exactly. What's up, mommy? <laughs> Halo just wanted to come. <laughs> Look, make an appearance. Some doggy oh, ASMR. Mommy, right? All right, mama. <laughs> They don't but, um, me. So this is our dog Halo. Uh, you know why we named her Halo, right? In case y'all don't know why we named her Halo, it's Hazel and Milo put together. So yes, the first two letters of Hazel, and then the last two letters of Milo. So yo, we're like. So what? we named her Halo because <laughs> this is our baby, and yeah. yeah, it's our names mixed together. That's how we came up with Halo Army, and yeah, it's literally our names put together. Yeah, so. it's lit. It's lit. So the name oh. we came up with for the podcast is. Halos and highs. Halos. It's like wordplay. This is the rapper in me coming out. Because it's also like you're saying halos and highs. You yeah. Know? So it's super dope. And it's the lows and highs of relationships because every, yeah. every relationship got highs and lows. So yeah. yeah. And then our logo is, uh, it says halos and it has a, a like a meter to separate the two. So it's kind of like a decimal. It looks like a decimal. You got halos on the top and then you got highs at the bottom. You're going to show the... Logo and should edit? I put should I put the yeah I'm gonna put the logo on the screen so I'm gonna put the logo on the screen <laughs> so that's gonna be our logo that's gonna be our name I'm extremely excited uh once you once you get like the branding in place that's when you actually start looking forward to it so yeah it's gonna be lit I'm not gonna lie you did your big one with it like <laughs> you really did so good yes yeah, Sarsky this is gonna be a more fun podcast the last ones were more like life updates and stuff like that this one is gonna be like a true representation of what our podcast is going to be more like. Yeah. It's going to be like little discussions, little topics, things that we could debate about. And also things that are going on in real life, though. Yeah. So let's kick this off. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's Y'all, go. I had a really big pregnancy scare. It wasn't a scare, though. It was a pregnancy scare. What do you mean? It was a pregnancy scare, but you weren't scared because you I, wanted to be pregnant. I would still be scared, though. <laughs> it's scary, babe. We had a pregnancy scare recently. Pregnancy joy, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> pregnancy, pregnancy joy. Pregnancy joy, yeah. Just got to have a little bit of faith, you feel me? Y'all know June, we had our anniversary and his birthday. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we were celebrating. <laughs> and if y'all seen, if y'all seen our little vlog, y'all seen like the little shenanigans that I had going yeah, on. Yeah, so we was so. definitely um celebrating. Yeah. All month. Yeah. And <laughs> My period was late for nine days, y'all. I have a little app thing, and it's usually very accurate. If it's off, it's off by like a day or two. I was like, bro, where's my period? My period was gone for nine days. Not only was my period nine days late, I was feeling very nauseous, and it was like really randomly for no reason, and it was at nighttime. Like, I would just randomly get really nauseous, and it, I got nauseous like three days in a row. My period was nine days late. I genuinely thought I was pregnant, y'all, yeah. so, to the point where I literally went to... CVS. She snuck it. <laughs> I snuck there. I went and got a pregnancy test and I even like recorded myself just taking the pregnancy test just in case I was pregnant because I want to document it, you know? So like that's how you know I was like fully convinced that I was actually pregnant. Yeah, see, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like it was just really weird. Yeah, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she, she, she told me about it afterwards uh, like a day or two later. And she said she was sad. I'm not gonna lie, I was like a little like I guess like disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like oh, because I like genuinely thought I was pregnant. Uh huh. 
Because my period was nine days late. So you late. were content with it. Like, you were already, like, in the mind space of, okay, I think I'm pregnant. So I'm like, I want this to. Well, yeah. I feel like, you know, I'm already at that age. I'm 25. I'm going to be 26 soon. Yeah. And, like, if I was to get pregnant now, like, even though we're not officially married yet, if we were to get pregnant, and I've been saying this for years, like, if I was to get pregnant, like, I would be okay with it, you know? Yeah. Why you look? Why you got that kinda, look on your face? We kind of already. <laughs> that just remind me. We kind of already have a a, a date that we want to shoot for. What for you like mean? Our elopement. Oh yeah, to everything. get to get married. Yeah, not gonna be like. Yeah. Not gonna not gonna announce it quite yet because it's not set in stone. Uh, but yeah, we we have a date. So even if we got pregnant, like we would nine times out of ten be married before. So I don't care. That's you. You're funny, bro. It's up to you. But yeah, y'all. So that's what happened recently. Um, I genuinely thought I was pregnant, and I was like, "Oh shoot!" And yeah, I yeah. was very surprised when I wasn't pregnant. And then I got my period finally, ten days late. Yeah, I don't know. But I think my body's just like been going through some weird stuff with my hormones, yeah. and that's why my period was late. Um, it's just because you haven't been taking your medicine. Yeah. So that's what it was. So many people ask about like your like medical situation you should tell them there's nothing to tell like tell them about like you know your your story like just a little short i think i said it before no i don't know i just know people were asking in the uh questions that i asked people i kind of feel like i have a lot of medical things wrong with me Mm -hmm. um since i was younger but the main thing is that when i was 16 which is almost 10 years ago (laughs) um when i was 16 i had my thyroid taken out because they were saying that they were scared it was going to turn into i had irregular cells or something i don't remember i was 16 and they said it was a big possibility that it could turn into cancer and they just wanted to prevent that so they took my whole thyroid out my neck so i don't know if any of y'all ever noticed but i do have a scar on my neck and yeah, I got my thyroid taken out. And now I got to take medicine every single day for the rest of my life. So I've been taking level thyroxine for the past almost 10 years. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so crazy. That's why, that's why she be so crazy sometimes. She be, she be missing her hormones. <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> don't, be, not funny. don't be a jerk. Um, if you don't know, your thyroid basically controls like everything. everything. Like your appetite, your weight your mood, like your irritability, your, it controls literally so much. Everything. Pregnancy. Your body temperature, everything, your fertility, it could, like your thyroid controls so much. So when you don't have one, like you can live without a thyroid, but your body is going to be like all out of whack. Yeah. So that's why you got to take medicine, sleep everything like, you know, going smooth. Um, so when I'm not on my medicine, yeah, like I definitely feel it. And I haven't been on my medicine for a long time. Yeah, it's been so. a no, what, like, you know you could actually you could actually die though like if you go long mm-hmm. enough without taking it you could go into like a coma and die yeah. but that's like very, very severe like really long term the whole medical system out here in florida is just but yeah, bro the so... cheeks bro like it's something she has to take for the rest of her life and she always has to come in they make it so difficult like, to get they act like it's like a narcotic like a hard crazy drug you know what i'm saying like, i'm like bro it's literally I don't get it. Yeah. But it makes no sense. Absolutely makes no sense. But yeah, I definitely need to get back on it soon. Yeah. Cause I definitely feel it. I feel like I have quite a few things medically that I've been dealing with since I was younger, but that's just a brief little one thing. But yeah, if you guys want me to get into like a whole um what's it called? Like a list. <laughs> a whole thing, like where I break down my whole everything, I could do a video on my channel about that. Yeah. We're not about to get into everything today, yeah, but facts. yeah. That's like the main thing. The other day we were sitting, I think we were watching TV or something, right? I don't know. We were watching TV. I don't know how it came up, but I had asked him like if he went to jail. Oh, no, nah, I ain't going. <laughs> I ain't going. I used to I used to always say I'm too light skinned to go to prison, bro. But now it's like I've been boxing. Um, I said if I'm he goes to jail, I feel bad for him because I feel like he really gonna be like no, some, I'm not yeah. going for none of that, bro. I swear. He gonna be somebody not. arm candy. Nah, like. bro. You gotta understand the 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 guys that get done like that in prison. They they kind of like have no choice. They ain't got a choice. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not going. They're gonna. It's gonna take like ten guys. They're gonna have to jump me. And even then, like, I got some strong booty muscles. Yeah, exactly. They like that. That's no, exactly what they like. That's exactly get, what they ain't need. Ain't nothing getting through. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going, bro. I'm I'm I I'm not going, bro. They gotta kill me. 
They gotta kill me. Yeah, so y'all, we just be talking about like hypothetical <laughs> stuff. Like, we just be talking about random stuff. If I went to prison, how long would you wait for me? Okay, wait for you? What you mean by that? Like, what you mean? Like, how long would you wait for me? Like, what's the what's the maximum time that I could get served or sentenced for you to be like, all right, I'm gonna wait? What, so you mean like just being faithful to you while you were yeah, in prison? Yeah, yeah. Like, so not... for example, if I, if I get two months. You gonna wait? Yes, of if course. If I get two years, but you mean wait like as in not do nothing with nobody else? Yeah, right. Like yeah, be faithful, yeah. stay faithful. We gonna still be in a relationship in prison. You still gonna call me? <laughs> you still gonna come check in? You right. Still, you still so gonna have you're visitations. saying, but like if you were in prison, yeah, how long would I go without like talking to somebody else or like completely like? No, I'm asking like what is the what is the minimum sentence that I can get? Uh-huh. Like for example, we're just gonna start from the bottom. If I get two months. Obviously, you're going to wait. If I get two years, would you be loyal and be faithful? Of course. Okay. If I get 10 years. No, absolutely not. No hesitation. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'll do two years. I'll give you five years. (laughs) Don't look at me like, you want me to waste 10 years of my life being alone and lonely just because of whatever stupid mistake you made? Yeah. No, it don't really like that. You in prison. You I'm waited. Not. You I'm waited. Free. I'm you waited free. a whole. You waited the whole first no. nineteen years of your life for me. Exactly. You never had a boyfriend or anything. But I was still I was, talking to guys. I was still, you know, flirting. Yeah, you could flirt if I'm in prison. You could flirt, bro. Just don't pop that coochie for nobody else. <laughs> what you talking about, babe? You don't want me to pop get, my coochie for ten years? I'll buy you a rose before years? I go. I'll buy you a rose for ten years. You don't want me to get no- nothing for buy, ten I'll years? I'll buy you a rose. I even get you a, a clone of Willie. I get you a crown of Willie, get you a rose. There's no way. Get you some realistic lubrication. And you just, hey, if I go to prison, just make sure you get pregnant before I go to prison. By you? Why? You're not going to see your child. You're not going to be with your child. What's the point? What are you Bring talking about? Bring him to visitation. Why do you want me to get pregnant before you go to jail? What's because that got to do with anything? That's going to trap you. That's going to lock you down. That's not going to trap nobody. Damn. What's you the like freak? that. You, you in the, you in... So you think just, so what you're saying is if I, if. You think when a woman got a kid, that's it? Like, don't nobody yeah, want right. her? I wouldn't wait for you for 10 years either. I know you wouldn't because, you know what? He's talking all this mess. We was watching a movie, right? And this woman, her husband died. And a few months later, she was already talking to somebody else. I'm like, how could she? Like, I don't understand yeah, how I, people I, can I, move I, on I, so I fast. Think... And he said, leave her alone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she, said, her can't... husband gone. I'm like, um... A few. I didn't say I didn't say I would do it. I didn't say I agree with it. But yes, I say you do. You I specifically do. say, but you cannot judge her for you how wanna she dealt with. You want to get mad at me because you in jail for ten years. You want me to you you want me to be lonely for ten years. Yeah. But if I die, you talking about you gonna move on like a month later. I never That's said. Crazy. I never said I yes, was going to. Yes. It's gonna take me years. That's I don't a even, lie. I you're not gonna to touch. God. So if I die, God forbid I die today, you're not gonna to touch another girl for how long? Do you understand? Before before I met you, you on you do. That's understand. before. That's before. I'm talking about now. Yes. You like, grown I, man. I, I couldn't imagine, bro. Like you don't first of all, why are you sitting there acting like I was some like bachelor or I was like some out here being a little man dingo and a little motherfucker? I'm not talking about I, that. I'm talking about right now. Yeah, I'm talking about right now too. I would not do <laughs> are that. Are you talking me? Yeah. What the freak? I don't sound like that. I would not. Bruh. I would not move on that quick. Like, yes, are you crazy? You would. I would be traumatized. Because you're a liar. Because whenever we... I'll be right there with you. We both going to be up there. What? what are like, we're going to be on some Romeo and Juliet shit. No, I'm that's a... not true. Don't say that. I really you... feel like if I... God forbid if I was to die today, I feel like you wouldn't move on quick. So You are crazy. Me? Now, if you, if, now if, you, if you broke up with me today, I'll move on quicker. But if you died, if you died, you understand how deep So if I broke is? up with you, you going to move on for me quick? I, I said quicker than if you died. <laughs> quicker. <laughs> Here you go. Jump into conclusions. I said quicker. Quicker. Then if, if you died, like, that's not, bruh. Bruh. That's, like, for example, that's like, okay, if we break up, if you break up with me, you just, you mad at me. We understand, like. If we break up, that don't mean we're, we, we could break up and still be friends. Yeah, I know. But if so you die, like, you got to understand, if your significant other die, like, while y'all happy and you're in love. Le- yes, you're you left. Never broke you're up. left with the best impression of that person. Yeah. All you remember is the good times. The last memories were good memories. Exactly. So that's and if why you I... break up with me, like I, I'll probably be like, man, I don't care. 
Yeah, but I'm saying, so, like, when when people have their spouses, like, unexpectedly die, Can't how move. could they move That's on so I'm quick? That's what I'm saying. I didn't agree, but at you the end You did of the day, agree, because no. I said that lady was wrong in that TV show for I moving said, off from her husband. you can't judge her. And it was a real show. Yeah, I said you can't judge her based off of how I can't she... judge her, because, I like, what? How are you going to move on? Your husband just died, and he died from cancer. Yeah. He ju- And it's a real story, yeah, it y'all. was 10 months. It was, it it was, wasn't, it was um, uh, Love is uh, 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, it was 90 Day Fiance, or something like that. And she was like, yeah, I'm trying to... It was eight months since her husband died from cancer. And you already moving on. Like, I don't know. To me, like, I just can't... Like, I'm grieving the death of my husband. The yeah. father of my children. No, I agree. She had I, kids and everything. And it's I like... I couldn't imagine. I couldn't how imagine. How your kids... The father just died eight months ago and you already... Yeah. You're a new man around them. Yeah, it'd be different if she was just like, you know, going out and trying to like, you know, mingle and stuff like that. But she... Traveled across the world. Even then, like to my mind, try to get married. Even then, like I feel like my mind just wouldn't even be in that space to like want to even talk to somebody else or even you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, course, why is yeah. your mind even going there? You should I mean, be you grieving still, your. You still got a lot of demons that you got to fight off. Like you have a lot of. I don't know. That's like one of those situations you got to work on yourself first. You can't. I don't know. But I said all I said I was try you, not can't, to like, judge. you can't judge. Her I try based not off to of... judge because I know everybody's different. Everybody grieves different. I understand that, but it's just crazy to me. Yeah. Like you also <sighs> got to keep in mind, she had her guard up like yeah. the entire time. Like she built her walls up. I know, but I'm saying your husband just died eight months yes, ago. Yes, but not you, even a full year. But she was trying like, to she was trying to move on. But you could see. But why like, are you trying to move on? You shouldn't even be worried about nobody else. Your husband just died. That's eight what I'm saying. Ago. It's easy to say, looking at her, but you don't like. <laughs> I, me personally, I wouldn't like. I couldn't and, imagine like you passing away. God forbid. Oh my God. But uh, I couldn't imagine it. And you know, eight months later, I'm trying to pursue getting married and stuff like that. Or even so, you shouldn't even be. You shouldn't even be thinking about no other girl. You shouldn't even be talking about no other girl. You shouldn't be nothing. You should be grieving me. That's what you. Uh, don't give me that look. You. Hey. Give me a full year at least. Give me a full year of just being sad at least. Yeah. I need you to be sad over me. Sitting on the couch eating ice cream. Yeah, for a year. I for need a whole that. Year. Facts. Nah. Yeah. And then you could go find your happiness. Cause I wouldn't want you to be. You know, some people be like, oh, if I die, you better not go get another girl. You. I want you. To, like people are like, yeah, I want you to be lonely forever. Like people be saying that. Yeah. I'm not that yeah, crazy. I, yeah, I'm not died, that crazy. If I died, I want you to find happiness. But if yeah. I was just in prison and still here and I had to deal with watching you be happy with somebody <laughs> How else. How you gonna I'm... watch me? You in prison. What you mean? You they can't... got phones in there now, bro. <laughs> Babe, they got you're phones not gonna in... watch me when you in prison. I'm, bro, you, <laughs> you gonna crazy? get random DMs from a uh, from a little ghost account? You definitely gotta wait on me for at least five years if I I did say that. Ten years. I mean I'm not wait years. I'm not wasting ten years of my life. Yeah, ten years is crazy. I could I couldn't expect that from you, honestly. Ten years, ten whole years of being alone. You want what that if they, for me? What if? Because I, you remember Prison Break? They, they, uh, what's what's that man's name? He had a wife, the Hispanic guy. You remember? Him? I don't remember. But he had a wife, and they let him like have like conjugal visits. Yeah, that's, that's what, what is that what it's called? Yeah. Conjugal visits. Like we could do that, baby. They don't got that no more. We get married. They don't got that. It was in Prison Break, baby. That they don't got that. We could be conjugal. No, we can't in prison. No, you can't. And I don't think that's a thing no more. And I, I feel like in certain, most states, it's not a thing. Like, it's very, very rare. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. You don't funny. leave me. You, you, gonna you be... just don't leave me to be in prison all alone? What if I got what framed for murder? What do you want me murder? to do? What if I got framed? I feel bad for you, but if there's nothing I could do. Ooh. <laughs> Babe, what you expect me to do? Women are toxic. What you expect me to do? Wait I'm not me. a judge. What the fuck? I didn't ask you to you be a judge. You still would pick up for murder. Like, that's going to change something. So you're saying if, even if you don't deserve to be in there? Yeah, because you said earlier, you said, whatever you did, you deserve to be in there. I'm not going to wait 10 Yeah, if you got 10 run. years in prison, I don't know what you did to get 10 years in prison. I got framed. Dexter, shot <laughs> me up with meth. You got framed? Yeah. You got me started watching Dexter. Nah, that's fire. That's fire. <laughs> We're like 20 We're so years late. late. Bro. Did I tell y'all about a show called C? Yeah, I did. Yes, C you tell everybody about and it. Dark Matter. Dark Matter. Dark Matter's gas. Fallout was good too. <laughs> oh my God. We could be conjugal. We could be like in a happy no, we can't. marriage in prison. We could be like a prison couple. There's no such thing. I'm going to be lonely every single day Matter by fact, myself. Hold on. Now that I'm thinking about it in prison break, if Michael, when Michael went back to prison, his shorty rolled for him. His shorty broke, tried to break him out. She was the doctor. He was in prison. Yeah, you're talking about the doctor who out. worked at the prison. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to be working why not at just, all. Why not just like do what Michael did? Like, yeah, like break me out. 
I'll try, but no, you won't. I would try. You don't. You don't even like ordering your own food at Chipotle. <laughs> you ain't gonna try to break me out of no damn prison. <laughs> Why are you being so disrespectful? <laughs> like, what the freak? That was so rude. Anyways. Tell me something about try. No, you won't. Yeah, I wouldn't try. But, I mean, there's <laughs> nothing I could do. What do you... But you're in a maximum security prison. What you expect little old me to do? Like, be for real. What's that movie with, um, be for real. with Sylvester Stallone when he his job was to break out of all those prisons? Yeah, why don't you figure out how to get back to me? How about that? How about you be a man and figure out how to get back to your girl? How about that? Paul died doing that. Well... I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what you want from me. Well, I just want you to be loyal and be ride for me. You want me to be loyal to you while you... What if we you... got a whole family, though? Like, are you going to, like... Like, what if we already have kids? Mm -hmm. We already have our life figured out. We have our home. You want them to be without um a father figure for 10 years? No, they could visit. Visit who? Me, in prison. <laughs> <laughs> they could visit. That's not having a father figure. Seeing you for two minutes behind a glass. No, not behind a glass. We could do what uh, Paul did, where he was able to hug them. There's bait. I don't know what type of prison you. What does of... conjugal mean? Because I don't want to say something that's weird. Conjugal is when they let you have sex. Oh yeah, nah, I don't want to do that. Like I was, I thought conjugal was just like in person. No, like... conjugal means like they give you a, a, a actual room, with, yeah. and they let you get it on with your partner. So me and you once a week, we can have a conjugal visit, and then once that weekend, let's say the weekend. Bring the kids and we could like sit at the table. I don't know what prison you visits. think. I don't know what you have you been to a real prison before? No. Nah. <laughs> okay, well the prisons I've been to when I've never been to Yes, a I prison. have. Like I went and visited oh. my cousin, my Theo. I used to go to the prison all the time to visit. Damn. And it's not like the movies. It's literally you have to go in, there is a glass, and you get like two minutes to yeah, talk. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be at that prison though. I'm gonna be at a different prison. I'm be at the prison where they let you like play like bingo, which are like family. I hope that for you if you ever do go to prison, but you know what? I hope that for us because that's clearly the only. You're way never you go going to prison me. anyway, so I don't know why we're talking about this. I don't know. This. I'm a boxer. I box now, so I might beat somebody up soon. You're not going to prison, shut up. Why are you looking at your watch? Try to see what time I'm due for. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. For my uh, visitation hours, I can't believe you said you would only wait for me. Well, five years is good. Some girls don't even be That's waiting valid. six months. That's actually Some good. Some girls don't even you be know, waiting I'm, you know a few what? months. I'm proud of you because if we didn't have kids, like let's say three years from now, we didn't have kids, God forbid, and I went to prison, mm -hmm. you waiting five years is you like completely like wasting away your fertility. You know what? Thank you for bringing that up. You're absolutely right. So I, <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. So yeah, I'm going to go find the best baby daddy I could. <laughs> You're funny, man. I'm just playing. No, women are still fertile until their thirties. It's harder, but I said three years from now, that's gonna be like thirty-five if at the end. How is I'm gonna be thirty-five in three years? No, I said if I go to prison in three years and then you so, wait, wait in three years, years, I'll be, be eight years. Wait, let me do the math. Twenty-seven. <laughs> so in three years, oh my god, you'll be twenty-nine in three years. So I'll go to prison <laughs> while you're. Crazy. I'll go to, go to prison while you're while you're twenty-nine, and when I get out of prison, if I'm good on parole, I could get out. I'll be thirty-five if you get out. If you wait five years, you'll be 34. Oh, yeah, no. So you're going to be like, mm -mm. we ain't even going to be able to have kids no more. So I say just have a kid while I'm in prison. And when I get out of prison, I'll just adopt a kid. Yeah. I'll Dexter the baby daddy because <laughs> he's a bad man. He's a, why he a bad man? He's a homewrecker. That's the father of our children. <laughs> <laughs> you should be thankful for that man. <laughs> no, because he, I mean, he's just a sperm donor yes there you go i'll just get a sperm donor how about that bro yes and be a single mother or i could put i could put my kids on ice oh yeah how I could put my kids on ice before i go to prison yeah and then i'll just use your sperm with a turkey baster that's a good idea <laughs> i think that's plan a if i ever went to prison turkey oh baster God. kids on ice whenever you ready but i wouldn't want to have a baby without you just Our be a baby? single mother until i get out of prison. i don't want to be a single mother just until i get out of prison then we're gonna be a happy family Buy and you're going to miss I'm the not first gonna be able to five buy, years? I'm not going to be able to buy a house because I'm going to be a felon, but we're going to use your credit. And you're going to miss out on the first five years of our child, of your of nah, your baby? They'll, they'll, they'll see me in visitations. Ay, Dios mio. Just tell them all good things about daddy. Tell them how daddy is a good man. Tell, actually, tell them I'm a superhero that went away because I did some superhero things and got in trouble by accident. I'm, not, I'm never going to lie to my kids. It's not a lie. It's the truth, but just in disguise. Plan. And speaking on lying to our kids. Santa Claus, yes. 
they will believe in Santa Claus. So yeah, we have a difference in opinions when it comes to how our not how our children are going to be raised, but like things that we're going to instill in our children. Uh, my, which is a little concerning because we're supposed to be, so, we're going to be having kids soon, so we need I, to figure this so out. So this is the thing. This is the thing. You, I feel like, as a person who believed in all of the mystical creatures, the you Easter grew Bunny, up like that. He grew yes. up. And a lot of people, a lot of, it's it's like a lot of people just age different with it. A lot of people grow to resent their parents for lying to them and they, oh, that's just, you just be liars. I grew up believing everything. Like I would go to sleep. So they told you Santa was real. The yes. Fairy was real. Everything yes. was real. My stepdad would literally climb on the roof, make noises on the roof. We would make cookies the night before. They would that's eat the crazy. cookies. Like they would put like, uh, like it was like. I, you know I 100% what? thought Santa Claus was real. That's amazing, though. And I'm going to tell you why I think, why I want our children to believe in Santa Claus and stuff, too. Because those were the happiest years of my life. Like, that's when holidays were like... Well, I feel like that's how it is for any kid. Like, me, it, I didn't grow up believing that Santa was real. But it was magical for me. That but was I difference. still was happy every Christmas. Yeah, of Christmas. course. It's, it's like a birthday. You still enjoy a birthday. You enjoy getting gifts. I like the. This. I just like the season. I like the yeah. atmosphere. I like the movies. It's like, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's just like with superheroes. So you think you had it's a better time I think, around Christmas than me because you yeah, believe the Santa? I don't, think, I don't think I had a better time. It was just more like, it was more to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it was something magical about Christmas for me. Like, flying reindeers, bro. Yeah. Like, I, as a kid, like, I believed in superheroes. You know what I mean? So, it's like, it's like, it's like that. Like, you believe, you, a kid that believes in superheroes compared to a kid that, oh, that's just someone in a costume that knows the facts. That kid, when they see that superhero, they're going to light up. And then they're going to remember that for as long as they can until they realize But then how it. do you break it to your kid that, they'll like... Grow, I, I, my, my I was lying to all these years. My mom never broke it to me. Were you disappointed when you figured out the truth? No. You weren't disappointed? No. After years wasn't. of believing in him, you wasn't disappointed. I would I looked I always looked at it like I actually appreciated like the efforts <clears throat> that my mom, my grandmas, yeah. my aunts. Well, me, me personally, how I grew up, I never grew up with Santa Claus. Like we weren't like told about Santa. Like we for for as long as I can remember from being very, very little, my mom would be like, this from your dad, this from your titi. Like, they would write who who was from on the gift, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And, like, <clears throat> we would just be like, thank you, thank you to everybody, whatever. So we never grew up with Santa, like, at all. Yeah. And... You know, I actually, I actually commented on a video uh, this in December, and it went viral. Like, it was a viral comment. I got, like, 10,000 likes. Talk? No, on um, Instagram. Oh, it was like saying? a video of a mom like walking her child down the steps <clears throat> and then they had like a man like in a Santa suit mm -hmm. and like she was just like talking to him like, oh, you mm -hmm. see that, blah, blah, blah. And then you told say? him like he got to go back to, I would, because I was reading the comments and everybody was saying how that kid's going to grow up and resent her, not trust see, her, stuff like that. Resenting and not so trusting, I, was just, I feel like that's extra. So I just was kind of like, you know, like I think back to holidays as a kid and it was moments like that, that I actually remember. Mm -hmm. Like. After, like, when I stopped believing, like, Santa Claus and stuff like that, everything just became about gifts. That's all I cared about. Like, it was just, oh, I hope I get this for Christmas. Before that, I was just like, oh, I hope I get to make cookies. I hope I hear the reindeers. I, but I, that's but, how it is, like, every, that's how but, it is, though. Like, even me, it wasn't just about gifts. Even though I didn't believe in Santa, I still was excited for Christmas time, like, yeah, without I mean, I was, I was excited for Christmas time, but for gifts. Like, I wasn't excited to see if Santa was going to eat. The cookie that I baked the night before, you get what I'm saying? Like, the reality is this. What are we losing by telling our kids that Santa's not real? And what are we losing by telling them that he is real? You know what I mean? I just feel like the kids in school are going to tell them anyway. Yeah, I feel they like, will. But right. I, at the end of the day, let them, let them find out for their soul. That's, then they'll be like, Mom, why you lied to me? Like, like I, didn't, I didn't lie to you. I w we were playing a game. And then we were going to lie to them by saying we, we didn't lie. We were playing a game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. See, that's just like, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I it got ruined for me in school. Kids yeah. always told me like, oh, you still believe in Santa Claus? He's fake. No, he's not. He's real. You know what I mean? And I don't, <laughs> I don't remember like being mad or upset. It was just like, damn, like, it's cool, I guess. While it lasted. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just come across that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. We're in a world with social media as well. That tablet shit dead. Yeah, that no. iPhone shit dead. TikTok dead. Our child, 
is not going to have no technology until they're like in high school. Yeah, we're about to live our outside life. Like we're gonna go camping. They don't grow up how I grew up. We're gonna make dirt pies. Yep. And people are like, oh, you say that now, but when you have a baby, you're gonna put the tablet in front. Nope, not me. Nope. If they get a tablet, care. it's gonna be one of those like leapfrogs. The little learning. Yeah, tablet. not when they're two years old. Like, yeah, no. Nah, that's, that's... Like, babies nowadays are literally growing up with a screen, like, in their face. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Coco Melon taking over. I got the world. my first phone when I was in sixth grade, which I feel like is still very young. Bro, you know, in seventh grade, it was when I, that's when I got my, like, like, I had, like, little flip phones, like, my mom's throwaway phones, but they weren't turned on. I got my first phone in seventh grade. Yeah. It was one of those little Obama phones, the Nokia's. Mm-hmm. They're like, you got to press two, three times just yeah. to get to see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A that's a flip phone. No. I had a flip phone. I had the, the, the one that didn't even have color. What are you saying Like, the about? screen didn't even have, a, have color. It was like the little, like, the little. A Nokia? It don't flip or anything. It's just the, the government phone, the Obama phone. Oh. Well, I had a flip phone. I had. I had a flip phone, but it was I mean, um. It wasn't on. Virgin Mobile, and it was a flip phone, so I could like slam it shut whenever I wanted to. My dad got me my first phone for sixth grade, and I blinged it out in rhinestones from the dollar store. And my ringtone was obsessed by Mariah Carey. Did you record your uh your ringtone? Did you put it up to the radio? <laughs> yeah. We would turn on the radio and literally record it. Yep, that's exactly how I did it. Girl, I'm not at the phone right now. And we had um our little what's it called? Our little things after our our text message. Oh, like the our little, little signature. Signature. Yeah, yep. the little signature. Mine was the baddest. What a D. I don't remember. I don't remember. You know my name used to be T Money. That sounds like you. T Money. <laughs> that was my IMVU name. My Club Penguin name. Dora. <laughs> Club Penguin was the. Sh- but yeah, yeah, Club just, Penguin, right? Yeah, of course. That shit was fire, bro. I used to flirt with so many penguins. Look at you. I couldn't even play an innocent game without flirting. <laughs> Jesus Lord. Yeah, I definitely miss the way we grew up. Like, I miss uh, our childhood so bad. I think I it's like, just nostalgia, though. No, I feel like, like we really had the best childhood. We like, did. our generation. We were like the hybrids. Because we're, we're Gen Z. We're Gen Z. Oh, yeah, we are. Too. My sister was the last millennial year. She was 1997. We're 1998. We're the first Gen Z year. So we're like the cusp. So we got the, the luxury of like yeah. no technology, but also got the luxury of technology. Yeah. Like I remember like all we had on computers were like the little arcade games, Pix- the Garfield super games. Super pixeled games. Yeah, the paint app, stuff like that. Yep. Yeah, man. Yeah. Back in my day. <laughs> We didn't have that. Nah. I really feel like we had the best, like our generation had the best of both worlds. Yeah. But I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I was a little bit older so I could have experienced like the nineties and early two thousands as like at least a teenager or an adult. You know what I'm saying? Like a young adult. I feel like the nineties and the early two thousands was like the best times ever. I feel like, like for your soul, yeah. For my for soul, like, nah. bro, just for the culture, for the music, like everything, like late nineties, yeah, that's early two thousands. I feel like though, like there, nothing could touch those years, like nineties and two thousands. Like, yeah, come on, those are the best years, and I was like a toddler, so yeah, I, I feel like if you if early two we thousands, if we were teenagers, we were babies. if we were te- if we were in high school during like the early two thousands, oh my god, it would have been so lit. Me in high school, I never Going seen somebody get a swirly. I feel like if I was. A what? little older, I feel like I would have saw more swirlies in high school. What the frick is a swirly? That's like when they hold a nerd upside down in the toilet and put his like Bro, flush people it. actually did that? Yeah. I think back <laughs> in the day, they probably did more swirlies. Yeah. I mean, I, high school, I didn't see no swirlies. I, I would have stopped like... it, but it would have been like interesting. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what the frick? Yeah, she talks about that all the time. I I'm happy it. where I'm at. I feel like... I was that nineties love. Like I wish I was a teenager in the nineties, like or in the early two thousands. But nothing could touch. No, I need you outside my door throwing rocks at my window. I need you singing love songs. I need you. I need all of that. Like I want that type of love, and it just don't exist because we're just not in that time period, unfortunately. Yeah, I'ma just go outside with a boombox. Hey, you wanna uh? Hey, yo, meet me. See, like I'm. It's so (laughs) sad to me. Not sad, but it's just so disappointing. Like if you think about it. All modern day love stories is gonna start by like we met on social media. Yeah, we I, met in the you know, DMs. You know what I like, do like about I don't the like more that. modern world though? You get more bang for your buck, and what I or or I'm not gonna say more bang for your buck, but you get more like convenient. You know what I mean? What the freak you so for about? example, back in the day, if I wanted to like meet up with you and talk to you, 
yeah, I did have to travel all the way across. That's the, what makes whatever. it and just that's what the, makes it better. That's what that's what makes it so much wor- more worth it. The fact that you did have to do all that. That's how I know it's real. Like, but, you know what I'm saying? But do you ever like wonder, like for example, you say that makes it more worth it because you see what the world is Because the, the effort but, you had to put in back then. Yeah, but back Nowadays, then, you, gotta you, gotta you ain't got to put in no effort. All you got to do is go on, go to Instagram, put a little DM, heart somebody's story, and bam. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, but do you want to, like, for example, back, 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 back in the day when they used to ride horses. And as, write as letters transport. to each other. You got to understand that was the normal. So that didn't, wasn't looked at as, oh, it's more worth it because it's more effort. That was. Yeah, it was looked at as normal. But that it was normal. I'm sure they realized. But now Dang, this is taking a lot of effort to do. You I don't know what think I'm they saying? did because it was normal. Yes. That was the way of life. This like is the normal, guy... but I this is normal nowadays. But I still recognize that it's very minimal effort. Yeah, like for example, the guy who he didn't invent the marathon, but the marathon was invented because of a guy that used to have to run back and forth to deliver mail to the queen, mm-hmm. and his longest route was twenty six point whatever miles, and mm-hmm. they created the marathon because of him, but. Now you look at the marathon, you got to train for that. You, you, it's like a big thing. It's a race, this, that, and the third. But to this guy, that was normal. To this guy, that was the way of life. That was the way of transportation. I understand that, but still. But so I think, I think if the world never evolved and that was still the way of life, I, I don't think guys you would still appreci- be like, dang, this is a lot of effort. Like that, no one's going to put in effort of having to write a letter, mail a letter, go on a freaking horse and carriage to go meet a girl if they didn't really like her. So if the fact that a man was doing that is because he really wanted you and really wanted you back then. Like, I don't think so. They wasn't doing that just for anybody. Yeah, Be of for course. Real. But I mean, I don't think it took like this majestic princess to make them want to go far and beyond because that's like, that was their norm. If they wanted to they see not, somebody. They're not doing it on the norm for anyone. That's what I'm saying. I don't think they was doing that on the norm <clears> for anyone. <throat> if they really liked the girl, they was going to sit down, write a letter, yeah. mail it to her, go to the mailbox, drop that. it off. I agree with that, yeah. Like, yeah. But it was still normal to them. They didn't look at it like, oh, this is... Well, yeah, but... Because nine times out of ten, the girl lived right up the block anyway. Yeah, you know but what, I mean? what I'm saying is, I just feel like it's sad that this generation and future generations, like... They just want It's call. not that it's not true love, because you can still find true love in this generation, obviously. Yeah. But it's just the fact that I feel like back then it just meant so much more to, like... You know, actually meet somebody in person, actually have a conversation in person. Yeah, meet I do. Naturally. I definitely do think relationships have more meaning back then. That's why there's more, yeah. like, you know, like. And I feel uh, like now the fact that like ninety percent of relationships nowadays was started on social media, like. And then they don't even work; they fail. Yeah, it's like dang. Because like I don't no... want to meet a man through like a DM. I don't want to meet a man like online. I want to actually meet my soulmate in the real world. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, well, we met online, so you saying you... Um, I know, but I know I'm saying, like, that's why I wish I was an adult so in the did. 90s, You wish you were 2000s. an adult in the 90s so you couldn't have met me? They shut up. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't think I'm your soulmate and you, <laughs> yes, you feel I like do. you would have met your soulmate if you were born in the, in the, in the 80s? If I was, oh, yeah, if I was born in the 80s you and grew up in the 90s? You would have rather meet your soulmate in the 80s than... Be I'm saying me. I would shut up. Damn, bro. Don't be so. You're just acting like Speaking a girl of, right now. Let me Stop. ask you a question. If there what? was one thing about me uh-huh. that you had to change, what would it be? You had to pick one thing. Yeah, or just things. Even if you got like, multiple. what do you mean? Like, if there was something that someone said, what would I change about listen, you? Ooh, you have to change one thing about Miles. What is it? Why are you? Who is? Who am I talking? I'm to? like a. I'm like a genie or like a witch or a wizard. Why well, like, I got an answer to them? Cause I'm forcing you right now. Yeah, like a, a ick mm. or whatever. Like a characteristic or something about you. Not, yeah, anything. It could be a look. You could say my forehead bone. I would never you... change anything about your looks. <laughs> what the freak? That's so messed up. I would never change anything about your looks. Characteristics. What I would Ics. change about you? If there's one thing I could change about you, but you know what? I know it's gonna happen over time and through experience and hopefully once we have kids and hopefully with me praying for you more and through God, I feel like it's possible. Uh oh. <laughs> so I feel like the thing, the one thing I would change about you if I had to choose was I just wish you could be more, um, wish you would or could be more empathetic. Pathetic? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. What's the word? Like, just ha- be more, like, have more feelings. Be more sensitive. Be more empathetic. More I'm like sympathetic. More sensitive. 
I think, no, do you know what I'm saying? Like, be a caring person. Not that you're not a caring person. This is coming out wrong. Not that you're not a caring... You are a caring person, but I'm saying, like, you have, like, dark humor. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, like, the bad. thing about him, he has dark humor. I personally don't like dark humor. I feel like a lot of girls are like that. It's fun. I don't care if y'all want to say, oh, like, you're a sensitive little girl if you don't like dark humor. I don't care. But his dark humor, sometimes, like, I understand. Sometimes I be laughing, right? I be laughing sometimes. Sometimes it's funny. But then sometimes it's just way too far and I'm like, it's not funny and I don't yeah. like it. You know what I'm it saying? I'm, bad, and yeah. I'm like, God don't like that. Like you laughing about things that are very serious. <laughs> but I right, tell. So, uh, so ugly. <laughs> that was a fun little podcast. <sighs> um, I'm so tired, y'all. I woke up at 7 a.m. I don't care. Come on. Oh, wrap it up. Right. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Halos. We'll see y'all in the next one.